What's going on YouTube, Geosyn right here. In today's video, we have some updates for QuickSign, the application that allows you to sign your jailbreaks directly on the device, you know, IPA files and stuff like that. And we have a couple of updates for those of you who are unaware, the QuickSign is a free and open source alternative to eSign. And as I said, it works directly on the device. This is the UI that they're working on at the moment, pretty nice. And it does support the newest devices and the newest iOS versions. In fact, it should support even iOS 18 once it releases. So the first piece of news we've got is from developer Bomberfish. They said that QuickSign will support side loading on Apple Watch in the first release, which is definitely interesting. It's one of the few applications capable to do so, and it might be useful for some of you. They also got their brand new website in here. They don't seem to have a domain for now, but they do have a brand new website showcasing some of the best features of this and the fact that it's easy to use and the fact that it works directly on device. Thanks to OpenSSL, it can sign without a computer, so you don't need any companion apps like Altstore does. The biggest and most important important one in my opinion is the tweak injection which means that you can essentially take a dialib file or a tweak and combine it with the IPA sign it all together and then install the tweaked one which is definitely interesting and nice now they also posted a video in here a quick demo on how quick the application is doing the signing stuff on the device and it's actually quite interesting you can see in here it moves pretty fast this is the UI you tap to install something like Delta which is an emulator and it goes pretty pretty fast now for something that happens on device this is pretty pretty good without any computer. It looks like a modern application, so that's great. And the installation process takes only a couple of seconds, as you can see from there. I believe they did a pretty good job with this. They seem to be interested in doing a great application and into releasing. There's a lot of useless stuff posted on their Twitter in here as well. You know, a lot of things that are not necessary, but if you want to follow the news, definitely do follow them. They do post development news as well once in a while. So yes, it's coming along pretty nice. And if you want to use it, definitely keep an eye on that account because they will probably release it sometime soon. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Peace out.